And second is a question from uh, CAT 2018 DALR slot 1. And again, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful question based on set theory. Uh, before we go further, straight away the caveat, please look at this video if and only if you have tried this set. And you need to be very comfortable with the terminology, the terms, the jargon. This is not like watching a movie. So make sure you've spent time in trying this set out. You're familiar with the terms. And, so, and then jump in. Only then you can take value from this. Fine. I'm going to jump in. Satellites. 1,600 satellites were sent up by a country for several purposes. The purposes are broadcasting, communication, surveillance, and others. B, C, S, O. A satellite can serve multiple purposes. So it can be broadcasting and communication, communication and surveillance, surveillance and others, broadcasting, communication and surveillance. So this is a set theory question, straight away. You're going to have some Venn diagrams and circles and all of that. However, a satellite serving either B or C or S does not serve O. So O is distinct from B, C, S. So imagine the Venn diagram. If you get this done in step one, then you're through. If you don't get this done, then you're toast. And it's impossible if you don't get the right Venn diagram. I won't say impossible, but very, very, very difficult. This sentence right here gives you a killer Venn diagram. You've got to start with that Venn diagram. Otherwise, we are in jail. There is no overlap between B and O. There's no overlap between C and O. There's no overlap between S and O. Or think about this, the diagram should have B, C, S in some form and O separate. Brilliant, that's very important. The following facts are known about the satellites. The number of satellites serving B, C and S, though may not be exclusively, are in the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 1. So looking at a diagram like this, this were B, C, S, the ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 1. O is separate. The number of sat satellites serving all three of B, C, and S is 100. This intersection here is 100. I'm going to draw this Venn diagram beautifully in the next couple of slides. Then just taking in the information. The number of satellites exclusively serving C is the same as the number of satellites exclusively serving S. And this number is 30% of the number of satellites exclusively serving B. We're talking about this number, this number, and this number. The number of satellites serving O is the same as the number of satellites serving both C and S, but not B. Diagram is too complicated. I'm going to go to a bigger diagram and fill all this data and then look at the constraints. Right. After this, we are down to the questions. I don't think we have enough information to solve this grid and get all numbers. But that's just equal to, not equal to, and the ratio. There's only one number given. And so there's going to be some variable, I think, my gut feel is we're not going to be able to completely plot out the grid. But let's fill it out any which way. This is how the diagram looks. This we are clear about. The total is 1600. And so we know that this number is 100. We know that this ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 1. And so we fill this. The number of satellites exclusively serving C is equal to the number of satellites exclusively serving S. These two are equal. It's 30% of the num number of satellites exclusively serving B. This were Y. This is 0.3 Y. This is 0.3 Y. The number of satellites serving O is the same as the number of satellites serving both C and S, but not B. So this number, C and S but not B, is equal to this number. If we put this as some K, this will also be K. Now, the wonderful part here, there's a 100K and 0.3Y here, 100K and 0.3Y here. C and S are symmetric. The numbers are identical. The total is also same, or these two numbers should also be same. We can write this as X minus K minus 100 minus 0.3Y which is what I'm going to call it as M. These two are equal. We know that M plus 0.3Y plus K plus 100 is X. And so we have X, K, Y, and M. 
not four variables, only three, because X and M are linked, or these are linked. There's one linkage which we already have. Okay. It doesn't look like we can solve this straight away, but we will get somewhere with some variables. And what can we get? We know that this set B is twice of this set C. And we know that the total is 1600. So let's use both of them. And so we know that Y plus 2M plus 100. Y plus M plus M plus 100 is 2 times 100 plus M plus K plus 0.3Y. Wonderful. So Y plus 2M plus 100 is 200 plus 2M plus 2K plus 0.6Y. Luckily, the 2M goes away. This 100 comes this side. 200 minus 100 is 100. This 0.6y can come this side. 0.4y equals 100 plus 2k. There is something linking y and k. So we know that 0.4y is 100 plus 2k. Multiplying by 5 by 2 to get y. y equals 250 plus 5k. I'm taking this equation. And multiplying by 5 by 2. I want to deal, I don't like the decimal 0 0.5. I don't want to deal with the decimal or a fraction when I'm writing an equation. So y equals 250 plus 5k. Brilliant. This is one equation we've got. The other equation, add everything together. That is y plus 0.3y plus 0.3y plus 2m plus 2k m and m k and k plus 100 equals 1600 and so or we have 1.6 y plus 2 m plus 2 k plus 100 is 1600 1.6 y plus 2 m plus 2 k is 1500 we know that y is 250 plus 5k. So 1.6 into 250 plus 5k plus 2m plus 2k is 1500. 1.6 into 50 is 400 plus 8k plus 2k. 10k plus 2m is 1500. Or 10k plus 2m is 1100. Or 5k plus m is 550. We already know that 250 plus 5k equals y. We know that 250 plus 5k equals y. We know 5k plus m equals 550. Fine, wonderful. So we can get a link between m and y also. We have a link between k and m, k and y, and m and y. So let's, let's put these in. So I'm going to capture these two as equations. 250 plus 5k is y. 5k plus m is 550. Obviously, solving for k and m and y is not possible. And we know we have only two equations. That the number of elements in B is twice number of elements in C. And the total is 1600. We don't have anything else. And so we can write this maybe differently. We can say 5k is y minus 250 plus m equals 550 or y plus m equals 800. Okay. That's one way of one other way of framing the same set of equations. y and m add up to 800. And so another way of writing the same equation, same two equations we are combining in a different way. But you haven't got anything more than this. And so we have not dealt with anything with x. And we know that with y, k, and m, if you have one of these, we can have the other two. These three are linked. If you have y, you can find k. If you have y, you can find k. And with k, you can find m. If you have m, you can find k and then y. Any one, you can find the other two. If you're given one nugget, then everything else falls in place. When we have three variables and two equations. 
we can form only two equations the grid cannot be completed but if you have one nugget then we are through now, now jump into the questions what best can be said about the number of satellites serving c number of satellites serving c is m plus k plus 0.3y plus 100 so 0.3y can be written in terms of k. We know y is 250 plus 5k. So let's write this in terms of k. So m plus k sorry plus 0.3 into 250 plus 5k plus 100 which is m plus k plus 75 plus 1.5k plus 100. This is 175 and 2.5k. M plus 2.5k plus 175. Wonderful. But we have something linking M and K as well. M is 550 minus 5k. We can write that. So this is 550 minus 5k plus 2.5k plus 175. 550 plus 175 that is 650 725 this is 725 minus 2.5 k this is what set c is wonderful now let's look at this obviously the answer is not in terms of one value and so we know the expression is 725 minus 2.5 k so the maximum this can be is 725 must be between 400 and 800 is probably true but not good enough cannot be more than 800 it's also probably true must be at least 100 is also probably true I think what best can be said so let's try to find the minimum and maximum the maximum c can take is 725 when k is 0 can we put k as 0 if you put k as 0 y is 250 k as 0 m is 110 that is possible sorry m is 550 both are possible nothing seems to be violated now to find the minimum then k should be maximum now think about this 5k plus m is 550 if we put m as 0 k will be maximum so k should be k max is 110 so we could have 110 as k and y is 800 that is a possibility so k max is 110 2.5 into 110 is 275 so c minimum is 725 minus 275 which is 675 sorry 650 450 or the minimum value c can take is 450 maximum is 725 this is very appropriate remember these are all true but these are not the best that can be said about C. So don't just look at a choice, evaluate whether it is true or not and mark the answer. This is the best description of the number of satellites serving C. What is the minimum possible number of satellites serving B exclusively? So we want to find minimum Y. We know that 250 plus 5K is Y k can be 0 we have already seen that if k is 0 then y is minimum y minimum is 250 this will be 250 because this will be 550 this will be 550 that is still a complete grid that is possible minimum y is 250 exclusively serving b 250 if at least 100 of the 1600 satellites were serving o what can be said about the number of satellites serving s we know k is greater than or equal to 100 and that much we know s we've already found the expression for s because we found it for c c and s are the same total number 725 minus 2.5 k 725 minus 2.5 k we know that k is greater than or equal to 100 we know that k is less than or equal to 110. 
is greater than or equal to 100 so k minimum is 100 k maximum is 110 2.5 k min is 250 2.5 k max is 275 if we put k as a minimum then s will be maximum or s maximum is 475 s minimum is 450 wonderful so we, now let's look at the, num the statement at least 475 the maximum is 475 exactly 475 not required at most 475 this is true the maximum possible value for s is 475 The number of satellites serving at least two among B, C, and S is 1200. Which of the following must be false? For this, you get a full information. At least two out of the three, that is M plus M plus K plus 100. 2M plus K plus 100 is 1200. 2M plus K is 1100. We know that. 2m plus k is 1100 we know that 2m plus 10k is also 1100 this is this into 2 2m k plus k is 1100 2m plus 10k is also 1100 or k is 0 this is 0 this is 0 which immediately gives us m is 550 250 plus 5k is y, y should be 250. We've got everything. This should be 75, this should be 75. We've got a complete grid now. So which of the following must be false? All 1600 satellites serve B or C or S. This is true. This is zero. The number of satellites serving C cannot be uniquely determined. It can be uniquely determined because we have everything here. This must be false. The number of satellites serving B exclusively is exactly 250. True. The number of satellites serving B is more than 1000. 550 plus 550, 1100, 1200, 1450. Yeah, this is also true. Must be false is statement 2. Fine. Wonderful set. Wonderful question. Definitely these sets. Try them. Hang in there. And then look at the solutions.